Speck, the dog that loves to garden. This is our love story of commitment, service, and loyalty with a phenomenal canine named Speck. At eight weeks old, we knew Speck was no ordinary dog, who became our third hand, not only in the house, but also in our favorite place, in the garden. Speck does many things even before we ask him to do them, as if he is part human. When we touch a limb with the clippers, he automatically jumps up to grab it, lowering it down to our level. And then drags it off out of our way. He's Billy's constant shadow. Here he plants grass seed with Billy. Getting stuck axle deep in mud is one of the challenges of wheelchair gardening. Creative solutions seem to always solve our problem. Billy attached a snow shovel to the front of the scooter and pushed the snow while Speck supervised. Speck helps to clear the raised beds. He loves digging holes, pulling weeds, and most anything else we are doing. On a moonlit night while I was away in Italy, Speck and Billy finished laying over 5,000 bricks, 11 at a time from a Tupperware container on Billy's lap. The bricks make it easier for me to maneuver over. I don't even have to ask him now to put the containers and labels in the cart. Specky, are you ready to plant some tulips? Can you bring them here, boy? Thank you, Specky. Specky, good job. Can you bring me the shovel, please? And the tulips, please? Thanks, boy. Often we simply point to the object we need. He even knows what behind you, Speck, means. Speck, put this tulip in the hole, boy. Thanks, buddy. Can you pick up the shovel now? Can you help me move this chrysanthemum? Thanks, boy. Let's plant another tulip right here, Speck. Can you help dig the hole? Put it in the hole, please. Now let's clean up the leaves and clippings. He always wants to help. Could you pick up that chrysanthemum, please? Let's see if we can reach this old weed with my extended clippers. Thank you, boy. You're such a good helper, Specky. Mama loves you. 
Thank you, boy. Mmm, Specky, smell this rose. It smells a little bit like heaven. Now can you hand me the mattock? Thank you, Specky. Let's pick up that crabgrass. Let's get this old dandelion and put it in the cart. Speck pulled the branch down as soon as I touched it and took it to the wheelbarrow. Oh, Specky, our garden is looking so pretty. Where can we put some more pansies? Pull, Specky. Pull, boy. Pull, boy. Thank you. We're almost finished, Speck, and I'll do your favorite thing. Sprinkle you with a water hose. Put it in the wheelbarrow, please. And one more. Thank you, good buddy. Another perfect day in the garden. Speck's tulips bloomed in the spring, and I remembered when.